Hey guys, this is Heidi and you're watching Heidi K Makeup. I wanted to talk about some of my favorite cruelty-free nail polishes. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. through uh, some of my favorite cruelty-free nail polishes. I don't know if any of these are vegan. They might contain shellac or carmine or other animal byproducts. So if that's important, you check that out. But to the best of my knowledge, at the time of filming, these are all cruelty-free and I don't believe any of them are owned by parent companies that test. So uh, first off, I wanted to go through some kind of like higher end brands. Uh, there's Orly, which is a super great brand. I love the shade Shimmering Mauve. You can pick these up at Ulta. Uh, Zoya is a really another or is another really great salon brand. This is in the shade Josie, which I'm wearing on my nails right now. Um, the only thing I don't like about Zoya is that the brush is a little thin. So if you prefer thicker brushes, you might not like this. If you don't like the thicker brushes, you might love this. A couple more expensive brands are uh, Sonia Kashuk. Uh, this one is in the shade Breakfast at Tiffany's and Mineral Fusion, which I have seen at Ulta, but I picked this one up at Sprouts. And this one is in the shade Sapphire Dream, which I think is limited edition. So if you're watching this at the time of filming, you might be able to get your hands on this. If not, check out some of their other colors. There are a couple of higher end brands that I believe are cruelty free or at least to the best of my knowledge that I haven't tried yet that I would still like to including Spa Ritual, No Miss, uh, Sesh I believe is but I'm not 100% sure and China Glaze I believe is but I'm not 100% sure. Moving on to some drugstore brands. My favorite brand is Wet n Wild and they have a ton of different um, nail polish types. But my favorite out of them is the uh, Mega Last line, which has a flat, thick brush, which I really like for one swipers. This one is really good. It's I Need a Refreshment, which is supposed to be a dupe for China Glazes for Audrey. This is my favorite nail polish ever. I own the entire collection of these guys. Then they also have um, the Spoiled line, which is exclusive to CVS, very similar to the Mega Last line. And they have this Wild Shine line, this is the matte top coat, the fast dry. This is in the shade caught on a sapphire, which I believe is limited edition. Uh, and it does dry fast. And then the Fergie line, this is in the shade flossy flossy, which is a rose gold glitter. They also have a thick flat brush. They also have another line called mega rocks, which I have not tried yet, which is a uh, glitter polish. Then another drugstore brand is Milani. This is in the shade pink flare, which is supposed to be a dupe for OPI's Teenage Dream. Now OPI's Teenage Dream is limited edition and is um, not cruelty free. Now Milani, there's been some controversy about lately. Jordana is also owned by Milani and some people don't believe that they are cruelty free. To the best of my knowledge, they are. Um, so I don't have a problem showing them, although until I know a little bit more, I'm not buying from them. So do your research before you purchase from them. Uh, a couple that you can only buy at Walmart. This one is Hard Candy. They have great metallic polishes. This one is in the shade Crush On Gold. And Salon Perfect, which I believe is cruelty free, but let me know if I'm wrong because it was kind of hard to find information on this brand. This one is in the shade Pure Azure. And then also LA Colors is really great and they're like a dollar. You can get them at most dollar stores. This one is in the shade Wired, which reminds me of kind of Tardis Blue if you watch Doctor Who. LA Colors also has some really great nail art stuff. So they have like striping polishes and dotting tools and things like that. Essence, which has a thick flat brush, these color and go polishes. And I picked this one up at Ulta. This is in the shade Space Queen. And I love this for over French manicures when I'm wanting to add just a little bit of glitter. And then this brand, Heaven, which I don't know very much about. It was kind of hard to find information on. To the best of my knowledge, they do not test. This is in the shade Surf's Up, which I bought at Albertsons, which is a drugstore that we have, or it's not a drugstore. It is a grocery store that we have here locally. Some other uh, kind of more affordable brands that I would still like to try but haven't had a chance to include Elf and Flower Beauty. Those, to the best of my knowledge, are also cruelty-free and I want to check them out. So, 
Let me know what your favorite cruelty-free nail polish brands are down below in the comments. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I know. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss our next cruelty-free beauty video. Thanks for watching. Bye.